you know that dogs are colorblind, right? Uh, yeah, I've heard that. Okay. Are you colorblind? Uh, uh, no. Not implying that you're a dog. Yeah, I'm no, no, no. Human beings can yeah, be no. colorblind too. Yeah, okay. yeah, I know that. Yeah, no. Okay. No, not, no, no. Okay, good. What do you think it's like to see like a dog? Uh, well, dogs are colorblind. I don't know. I mean, I'll say like uh, that they see in like uh, black and white. That's what I hear a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not yeah. how it works. Okay. I think people think like color TVs, black and white TVs. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. In our eyes, because I'm not colorblind either, and unless you could be a rare human being that, oh, and I forget the term, but there is a term where people can see more colors than more most people. Oh, okay. And those people, that is very, very rare. They have four color receptors in their eye. Yeah. Okay. And the, each color receptor just allows you to see like different types of light, mm-hmm. basically. Most, and the vast majority, have three color receptors, and that's probably what both of us have. Mm-hmm. Okay, so people who are colorblind, sometimes the reason why they're colorblind is they have two color receptors, and this is what dogs have. They just have okay. two. So they still see color. They just don't see the same spectrum that we see. Mm-hmm. So like one of my uh, family friend, he's colorblind, and he said before, like, and there's different types of colorblindness. Like you can be blind to different parts of the spectrum, he has trouble with like blues and grays and mm-hmm. stuff. Blues and grays all seem the same to him. Yeah. In fact, um, he's uh, he's married. He has a family. Um, and he said before, like he'll or his wife has said before, he'll come walking out of the bedroom and she's like, that doesn't match. <laughs> and then yeah. he's like, like shirt and pants, and he's like, what are you talking about? She's like, you've got no, <laughs> you've got like two weird versions of blue, and she's mm-hmm. like. He's like, oh, this isn't the same color? And and she's like, no, no, it's not. Go here. Look, this shirt yeah. is the same shirt that you're wearing. It's just a different color to look better. And, you know, <laughs> after years, he's just like, yeah, okay, she knows more. Yeah. I can't see it. But I've never seen a really good, uh, like, representation of what dogs see. Mm-hmm. And uh, we played his videos on here before, uh, Hank Green. Okay. Yeah. And so I, I yeah. saw one the other day, and I thought, oh, I want to talk about that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so here it is. You can't find this red squishy. I kind of consider it my job to like see things on top. No, wait. Let's just back that up for a second. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah. So okay. this is red. Okay. So see, we're seeing it like the dog sees it. Okay. You can't find this red squishy. So it I just disappeared. Yeah. My job to like, see things like. on TikTok and be like, is that real? That looks okay. like it might be real, but is it real? Am I sure it's real? And I looked this up and it's freaking real. I was kind of surprised. Well, we're seeing it like the way oh, dogs yeah. would see it. Okay. So dogs have an issue with the color red. Okay. Surprise. I was like, this It'll can't explain. be exactly what it, but like, that's a pretty good approximation of what a dog would see. And it is wild that if you throw a red ball into a green grass, it looks like indistinguishable. I wanted to show you this, like this is like the dog color spectrum and the human color spectrum. And like they lose the red, right? Like over here at the edge, mm-hmm. you can't get as much of the- Yeah, no, I find this very interesting. I do not own a dog, mm-hmm. but now that I've seen this, I would think, wow, if I bought a toy, oh, I'd make yeah. sure it's blue. Mm-hmm, for sure. Cause they seem to have much more, yeah. con- well, it just blue is like, or, or maybe white. Blue or white seems to be, yeah, very outside of the spectrum. Okay, right. so sorry. The red color, and then they get a lot of the same blues, but a, a lot of the situation over is over here, where it's all just shades of like yellow. Uh, but more importantly, what the frick is this? <laughs> yeah. What like that's a dog, and then the human spectrum is like, evil. I'm a goof man, <laughs> and I have goof in my special that's color hilarious. vision. I'm goofing you for. Goof- <laughs> Okay, it makes a lot more sense now, right? Because, like, I've seen before where uh, you throw, like, uh, a certain color ball in the water, mm-hmm. like a red ball that it, or an orange or something that it definitely sticks out to us human beings. Yeah. And the dog is like, it doesn't know where it went. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm starting to think, oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'm, in fact... All of my friends that own dogs, I'm going to be like, hey, yeah. you know what you should do? You should change to like a bright blue ball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it'll be way different. Well, 
Actually, at that yeah. point, maybe almost a dark blue or something. Yeah, pr- yeah, probably a darker. <clears throat> yeah, one thing that I would love to know is like, how do they, how do they measure a dog's vision, like on the color spectrum? Well, I would say one, we know, like, what it, I mean, I'm sure at some point somebody has dissected for science a yeah. dog's yeah, eye, yeah. but um, beyond that, I would say that y- you should be able to test a dog by. Um, you could just put up something where, like, let's say, in 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 this scenario, if you had, uh, like, let's say, a green piece of paper, and then in front of it, you stuck, uh, like, a red symbol, and if you train the dog every time it sees the symbol to, like, put its paw up or something, mm-hmm. or, or bark or something like that, and then you started doing that, you should be able to see what it can distinguish and what it can't. Okay. Now, at yeah. least to me, that feels like an yeah, easy yeah. test. Okay. Nice. Pretty interesting. Um yeah, I never, I mean, I've always heard, like, dogs are colorblind or whatever, but I've never, like, I mean, I've owned a dog in the past, but I never gave it much consideration. Yeah, I so. think a lot of people think that it's black and white, yeah. and I think, well, why would it be black yeah, yeah, and white? Yeah. And I think the deal is, is because we went from black and white TVs to yeah. color TVs. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah. like if our original TVs were green and white yeah they might think oh maybe they can see green and white yeah. <laughs> i don't know it's weird <laughs> yeah 